Hello and welcome back to American Farming. Right, we are sorting out a bit more mineral feed here for the cows, so we are just going to put that out and it should line up pretty nicely for the wheat. We are going to do at least one more load of it. Uh, we are not going to get rid of all of the wheat for the cows or for the chickens necessarily, but we are definitely going to be focusing on the cows, as I've mentioned uh, before. So this is quite a... Uh, it's a very touchy bit of kit. Yeah, I think I might have gone a bit past the point. There we go. So yeah, you just got to go over it and it's fine. So it will fill up with 4,000 litres of wheat and in doing so, when it goes out the other side, out the other pipe, uh, it goes out as mineral feed. So that is really, really fantastic because it does give us that 10% uh, power food uh, requirement down here, power food. And uh, we do have 4,000 in there now, so we're going to put another 4,000 in. And then the rest of the wheat I will probably tuck away into a... Uh, here, we'll just get this tidied up first. Uh, we'll tuck it away into a bin because we won't need it until we have chickens. And I'm going to wait to get chickens uh, until we have the base food, which is a corn or sorghum or something like that. But we will feed them the mineral feed. Now, I know going in here and feeding them while they're in here is a bit funny because we'll probably... Um, have to drive through a few of them, but no matter, here we'll have an escape route as well. Watch out cows, watch out, watch yourselves. Is this better or worse in first person? I don't know. <laughs> watch out cows, watch yourselves. Right, so if I put this out and lower it, beautiful, that is... Oh, oh. There we go, that works. Fantastic. So that's going to take its uh, time doing that. While it is doing that, that's where the Alice is ready to go in the field to collect some straw for some straw bales. Uh, we do have the... Right, I'm going to... I'm going to put the trailers, the two trailers there on here instead. I'll relocate this somewhere else. Um, the reason being is because I'm going to put... Actually, no, it's, bet it's better now on the pickup, yes. Because we are going to unload them somewhere, but for the potatoes, I'll load it up with the case. I don't know where to put them. Because they don't all have to go into the cows. Some can go for the chickens, but we just don't have them yet. So we might just have to put the rest of the spuds on the ground somewhere. If all told, from here, uh, moisture food, so that that's potatoes, 20% of 100, so that's 20,000. So we only need about 5,000, 4,000 more um, in there. So I don't know what, uh, what we'll do exactly. Anyways, I will leave this here just for the time being, because we are going to head back to... Right, this is all done now, so that's good. We can... Bring that in. No cows were harmed in the feeding process. No John Deere's either. Right, we'll just leave this just here for now. Handy little cow feeding tractor. Ideally, I mean, we don't have to have parallel feeding, but I quite like it. It is something different. It gives it a bit more. Uh, it gives a bit more variation as well to what you're feeding. Uh, versus the silage, hay, and straw sort of, um, you know, over and over sort of thing. But now we're going to use a new bit of kit that we haven't used yet on the series, and that is the augers and the bins. Yes, here we are. So one of these lucky winners will be full of wheat, well, at least 10,795 litres of it. And uh, then the potatoes have to go on the ground somewhere. I haven't decided where exactly yet. But we need first the uh, versatile 
there still. We'll fire up that engine. Should be fine just to uh, drive it there ourselves. Get it raised up here as we go. Uh, I reckon the first bin is fine. This one here, just to my left. Because I also imagine that uh, the far one would be best for corn. That hasn't been in the dryer. Or for dry corn, if that gets filled up. We'll sort that out. There we go. Now this might be a bit... Oh no, is it not going to reach? Are we upgrading already? No, it'll reach. It'll reach. Better reach. Anyways, we'll see if it reaches here in a moment. Uh, we do also need another tractor, which is another good reason to have that John Deere with us. So, let me see. Hopefully this is alright. I know these have to be opened, and there is a thing around the back here somewhere. Oh. So, I believe it's open now. Right, we still need a tractor. Okay, I'll bring this up over there, and uh, we'll get some grain put into the bin, hopefully. Right, so to run this machine, we do have to connect the PTO, just like... Oh, we did have it there for a moment. There we go. Ah, just like that. And... Turn it on, I believe. Maybe not. Maybe it's already enabled. Perhaps we have to turn it on here. Oh, no. Oh, it's all set up. I, I definitely have used these before, but... Um, <coughs> now, here is the problem. Is it not going in because I'm not close enough? Or is it not going in because it doesn't reach? That is where the problem lies. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. We going in. Is it going in, in, though? Oh, it's just going in. Blimey, look at that. Is is it, though? Where's our bin? There we are. Yes, get in. Love that. Love that. Right, well, while that goes in, I'm uh, seeing a thumbnail. So I'm going to take it, and we'll be right back. Alright, the last 700 litres going in to the bin, and we are out of wheat. Fantastic. Right, well, that uh, went really well. Better than I could have expected it to go. Now, for the spuds, what to do? I will have to sort this out. So, for now, I'll just park up here. Uh, we can go back over here. I'm going to get this all put away. I'll get the auger put away. I'll get the John Deere tucked away somewhere. And uh, we can crack on with some bailing. And we are going to get some silage just before we head off to bale some straw. Because uh, we might as well just fill them up with uh, as much silage here as we can. So we do have the potatoes still in the back. Um, I will try and feed them some, I think, since I'm going to be in here anyways. Coming in, cows. Watch yourself. Uh, since I will be... Oh, this is in the way a bit, isn't it? Oh, no, it's all right. Um, but yeah, since I will be in here anyways, I may as well uh, feed them a bit more of the potatoes, because if I read that correctly, they are... Right, here we are. So they only need about 4,000 more litres for now. And I think that uh, we can manage that. Sorry, cows, watch out. Coming through. Coming through. I imagine they'd be either sleeping or out the way you do this, but they're always out and about, causing havoc and all. <laughs> right, so we'll get all that silage in. It does take quite some time, uh, so we'll let that do its thing. Uh, what else have we got on? This can stay here for now. That's fine. This is all that's left, really, for the month. Oh, yes, this did make it. The uh, the wonk, if you didn't see it, the helper was all over the, the road, but he did make it back, and I sort of... He was half on the on the path there, so I kind of moved him over, but... Blimey, look at our, uh, look at our corn here. 
Alfalfa's coming back. I've decided, yeah, for this, I'm just going to let it go one more time because we might as well get another set of bales. Uh, depending on how the straw baling goes, decide, we'll decide whether or not I switch to a different baler or not. Uh, but as you can see here, the silage corn is coming along really, really nicely. Again, still don't know the difference, but we're finding out we have an amazing uh, yield coming from it. So I'm very excited about that. If we actually have a look at our map and see... Yeah, these two are near. Right, we do need to sort out 85 as well. Probably going to be another grain crop, although we could wait and put in some... something. We could put in rye, but uh, it won't be ready until July, so we might as well put in something like barley or canola or something like that. Maybe canola, actually, so we can do that next month, because nothing will be ready next month, so August will be a good month to do that. Uh, but yes, in the meantime, let's check on the pickup and see. Right, so potatoes now. Let's put in... Oh, just a few, let's see. Oh. Let's get it down to like 11,000 perhaps. Something like that. I just want to keep it at 20. That should be good. That should be perfect. Yep, that's just over 20,000. That is all right. So the rest of those potatoes can go to... Well, can either just go in the ground for the cows another time, or we can keep them for the chickens, which I kind of want to do. Now that the cows are all full up, I don't know how quickly they'll get through. They are There are 20 full, fully grown, ready-to-birth Holsteins, so they're probably hungry. Um... Yeah, once their health hits 100, which it should very soon, I've just given them food this month. So, yeah, that'll pick up right away. And uh, then we'll have some calves as well. Right, after all that, we can finally get to baling our straw, which is very exciting. I, I do, <clears throat> I do want to give this baler another chance. Um, I know this might not be a very fair thing to do by starting on the curviest bit of the field but I do I do want to give it another opportunity um, I just the width of the pickup is one thing as well um, I don't want to faff by bringing a row all the way down here this pickup is actually much better than or oh sorry the this swath is much more narrow than the um, than the mowers oh nice oh maybe the maybe Maybe the mower is the issue. Because if we didn't have the mower, we could possibly cut alfalfa. But I don't know if it automatically... Oh, we did lose one there. I don't know if it automatically will condition grass regardless of whether it's that mower or not. But I should probably have a cheeky test of that to see. Because if that... Oh, I don't want... There we go. I don't want... <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think it, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm rambling on already. I, uh, I don't know how much straw we'll get, but I'm feeling fairly confident that we'll get uh, a fair few bales. I hope that this load goes nice and easy so that we can fill the trailer very, very full. And um, I might even be cheeky and bring the pickup down here to pick up the trailer and bring it back versus driving the whole tractor setup back. But uh, we'll see what happens uh, as we crack on with the time lapse.
Well, we are definitely making a dent on the field. Um, I have no idea how much straw we managed to get before, but I'm thinking that's pretty full. I am going to finish this row if I can do. Oh, I'm missing bits again. Yeah, there were a few missed uh, or rows rather with missed bits, but uh, absolutely fine overall. Considering we've got one really full trailer, you can really fill these trailers up. But I'd like to know how much we got from the first one, because well, I'm just yeah I'm just really curious about that. It's going to line this up here a bit easier access for the lorry. Oh nope, wrong thing. There we go. All right, and uh, yeah, we'll hop back into the pickup truck. And we'll see you back at the farm. Alright, well here we are. I am hoping that it doesn't take the ones in the back. Oh, it's taken them straight away. Okay. I put some in there because I thought it would be a bit easier to uh, bring them to the cows. But, never mind. <laughs> That's not a problem. Uh, we did have 100,000 litres in there uh, before I put that load. But now we have still 100,000 litres. So maybe I miscalculated it then. Not a problem, but I think I will very quickly at least put in uh, one or two uh, straw bales, just because they do need them. Yeah, it shows the total capacity. So we have 144 straw bales in there, and we're not done yet. We still have... Uh, probably at least another full trailer load. Yeah, look at that. So with these regular size bales, it will probably be a bit more full up. But uh, let's see here. We need a straw. Uh, we'll just do 20 for now. Right. So they will spawn out the front here. Whoop. There we go. There we are. So I don't know if they come in here. Oh. Or if they have to be shred. Oh, I think it just took it. It did. Didn't it? Where is straw? Yep, 7.30. Nice. Okay, so we can just, yeah, pretty much just push these. Sorry. I don't know how far they in they have to go. Can they go anywhere else? Hang on, you crazy cows. Ah, oh, they can go there as well. So that might be a bit easier. Especially if I can just kind of pick a load up and just launch them. Oh, no. That, <laughs> that has not worked very well. Here, we'll try this. Sorry, cows. Watch yourself. This is for your bedding. No, it's really, really touchy. Right, so here's a very quick pros and cons of both. So the little bales, I find that uh, because you're getting 100,000 litres in one big trailer load, it's really not that bad. But when it comes to loading in like this, it's problematic. Uh, it would be nice if you could load them onto a uh, trailer or even, well no, that would be, yeah, or even shred them out of the machine. We could get a uh, hay buster, but um, we'd still have to load them into that versus doing it like this, whereas if we had regular bales, we'd be able to just get the bobcat in, get the uh, the bale spike on, and uh, there you go. Off you go. Right, I think it's easier in here as well. Unless they're full up. Nope, definitely not. Right, so that's 20 bales. What does that put us at? I did all that as well on camera. Sorry about that. Um, right, where we are? Straw. Okay, nearly full. So that's cool. 15,000 litres. Not too bad. Right, we'll hop back into the pickup here. We'll pr I'm probably going to get the rest of the um, rest of the bailing done off camera just because did a nice big time lapse of that. And, uh, and I reckon it's just about done anyway. So we will get that done. Uh, July, I think, is pretty much uh, at an end because, uh, well, once we've done the, uh, the straw as well, because we're not putting anything in that field until after we, uh, after, 
the summer or in August we'll put in canola so that's good we could fertilize we could get in there and uh, give it a uh, coating but I think our drill that we put in canola does do fertilizer so that will probably just be fine for now until we get more animal uh, you know byproduct and that with the uh, slurry and manure and all that uh, then we can start using that in the field as well before we start drilling in whoa oh my losing it oh we got it saved it right we'll uh, crack on with this baling and we'll see you when we're done and here we are back at the farm at the back of the barn unloading the rest of the straw should start to disappear any minute here and gone Brilliant. That is really, really, really brilliant. I'm just going to reposition all this here a bit. Just along the, uh, the tree line here, just to keep it out the way. I don't think we'll need it just right away, but if it's out the way, that's fine. Even just like that. And there we go. Right. Well, that was quite a bailing session, I have to admit. Uh, the second, the third, sorry, trailer was all right. But uh, it was a, a few less than before. But as you can see there, we have... Oh, right. The straw bales are 700. Right, right, right. So we have 700 litre bales. And we have 174 of them. So we have 121,800 litres of straw. And uh, plus the 15,000 sum that is uh, in there now. So it's really, really quite good, uh, which means that with 600 litre bales of hay, we're at about 118. So very, very similar amounts. Um, and really, if they were full-size bales, I can't remember exactly, maybe they'd be like anywhere from 10 to 15 bales. Which honestly is much easier to feed the cows. <laughs> so we might switch to that. But time will tell. The only thing missing for chickens is the base food. So we do have to wait for the corn to grow. We were going to do sorghum, but I thought might as well do corn because I don't know how much they'll actually take. And then uh, when it comes time to feeding them, we are going to focus mainly on the wheat, and uh, we might, maybe we should do some rye for them as well, because we were looking at what we can put in, and I did say doing uh, canola in that field, but we can do rye as well in, as a winter crop, so it doesn't have to be that field, but I would like to do a nice bigger field, actually, 72 would probably be really nice as a rye crop, 73 can be so we do have corn in there now oh must double check corn right corn and corn and corn so we got three fields with corn one with uh silage corn just to see how it's different and they should all harvest at the same time yes so in the corn fields we can do rye we can also do barley and oat probably going to be in October when we can uh, first harvest, so probably October that we'd turn it around. Maybe November, so either wheat or rye. Either of them is fine because we can use both for mineral feed and both for feeding the chickens. The corn, of course, uh, well, and then that's the thing to remember as well, is that if we do put in rye, we won't harvest it until July, so we can't put in another corn crop or anything. So we do need to keep one of those fallow until spring to put in potatoes. I was thinking 57, but possibly 71 might be better for potatoes. Just we'll have that much more, and they're so much closer... And maybe by then we'll have a bit of a shed or something to store them in properly. Uh, but we shall have to wait and see. Right, so as far as selling things, we don't have anything yet. But the milk is already coming in. That was a good investment to get them started early. Um, uh, we do need something to transport the milk, though. So that we might have to lease if we do a big selling session uh, here in October in a few months. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Loads of alfalfa hay, loads of straw. All set for that. Sorry, I'm just going over everything. Yeah, I don't know if that was worth it. I don't know. I don't know how much we'll get for... I mean, it says there max value. 
But how much did we spend on the seed for that? I just feel like... I don't know if it's worth it. Hmm. Right, uh, what else have we got to check on? So, this is fine here. That's fine there. That's fine there. This is fine there. That's fine there for now. I think that's pretty much it for July. Uh, we can have a check in the sales. Ah, there's a tanker. Hey, we're gonna need... We're gonna need something like this eventually anyways for milk. Ooh, I think, I think we need to pull a loan for that. I think so. I think it's just meant to be. So we were just literally I was just talking about that. It's a modded version as well. I don't know the difference. Maybe it's got a bit more, but price point it seems like it's more expensive. But uh, at that price though, really really good price. Okay, I am going to do it. But first, I'm going to borrow a bit of money. So we need th about the same. So we'll go up to 70. I know it's a bit cheeky, but we are getting things started. Ooh, main color black. Is that a... F okay, no. I, I, I do quite prefer the uh, stainless steel, but... The black is pretty nice. Now we'll go with the stainless steel. Rim color. Anything free is fine. You can do black on that. That's all right. We will get a plate on the back. That works as well. Nice. Uh, 31,000 for that. So that is pretty good. I'm very pleased with that. We will pick that up at a later time. Uh, we could also use it for water for the greenhouse, but with that, um, with that attachment, it never... G oh, it's done. It's out. I thought that kept it full. Well, at least now we have a tanker in which to load for that time to come. So probably get that sorted. They don't need to worry about any water, which is grand. Other than that, it's pretty much just for selling milk, that thing that we bought. But anyways, we are leaving off with a view of the cows once again. Um, and they do have, I believe that's the beginning of their muck pile there. Is that going to be right there? Must be. Manure, uh, uh, sorry, slurry over there, so... Brilliant. Well, this is another very busy episode, at least. We got the baling done, we got the cows all fed, sorted. Uh, we got some straw dealt with as well, so that's really nice. And uh, ready to move on to August. We m I might swing down to the shop, pick up that trailer first, just to keep the greenhouse production away. But I'm not too fussed on it, because I ca still quite can't quite tell if it's worth it or not, if it's... I can't tell, I can't tell yet, because I feel like the seed I've paid for it, if it's, you know, two, I don't, I think it was 2,000 litres the first time, which is about 1,600 pounds, so maybe it is worth it, with free manure and free water, the water isn't free, but it's cheap, 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 and the manure is a byproduct of the straw anyway, so... Anyways, if anyone has any ideas if uh, about that, then please let me know. But I think it's worth it if we uh, keep at it. So, anyways, that's enough from me today. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, a cheeky thumbs up always helps out the channel. And please subscribe. Until the next one, please do take care. And bye for now.